Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion, SIADH. It is a continued secretion of ADH, antidiuretic hormone, despite plasma hypotonicity and a normal or expanded plasma volume. At this point you should know the physiology of ADH. The hypothalamus makes ADH and from there it moves to the posterior pituitary gland where it is then secreted according to the plasma osmolality. One of the main actions of ADH is to act at the collecting tubules of the kidneys to cause water reabsorption. So, if you are dehydrated, there should be increased ADH secretion to cause increased water reabsorption by the kidneys. So normally at low osmolality, less ADH is secreted by the posterior pituitary gland and so there is more diuresis, the person passes more urine. If there is high osmolality, more ADH is secreted and so there is less diuresis, the person passes less urine. So, in SIADH, ADH is inappropriately secreted and continues to be secreted regardless of the osmolality. Water continues to be reabsorbed by the kidneys and not excreted in urine. As water is retained in the body, there is dilution or hyponatremia and the patient may experience headaches and nausea. If the hyponatremia becomes severe, it can lead to fits and coma. There can be different causes of SIADH. As I have listed, it can be because of cancer, a problem at the brain such as a tumour or meningitis, a problem at the lungs, a metabolic cause, a cause because of drugs such as carbamazepine. So in summary, in SIADH, there is continued ADH secretion causing continued reabsorption of water from the kidneys, preventing its excretion, and the patient is at risk of dilutional hyponatremia and the effects of this. I hope that this has been useful to understand SIADH. Thank you.